Tamales de puerco. I just had a shameful realization that I never had tamales before. Uh, yeah. First thing you want to do is cook your pork meat. We're using bone-in skin on pork hocks. Onion, garlic, and bay leaf, and salt. I'm just going to use things in my fridge that I don't know what to do with. Cover and let's cook for an hour. Cover and I cooked it for eight hours. And you shred. I don't have that traditional Mexican meat shredding tool. So I'm just going to take out the bone and then shred with my hand. Let's hydrate the chiles. You're going to be proud of me because I got ancho, bajillo, and pasilla. Three types of chiles. Tree! Dried chiles kind of smells like dates. Now let's blend the chiles. Now let's blend the chiles. Here's a facial for you guys. Add one cup of pork stock, onion, chicken bouillon, garlic. Stock, shallots, chicken bouillon, and garlic. I forgot my clavos. I forgot about it too. This looks really good. Let's taste it. Woo! In the same pot, melt manteca and dissolve until you get this paste. I'm gonna assume that's some type of oil. Add the molito. Mix. Add the molito. Great. The cleanup just got 10 times more fun. Add more of the broth. More pork broth. At this point, add the shredded pork. All right, this is ready. Now we add the shredded pork and mix till it's well combined. A little bit of the broth and you mix. Okay. But you didn't give instructions on the masa. All right, let's look for another recipe video. Two thousand years. All right, I found another Mexican lady that's gonna teach me how to make the masa. For masa for tamales, the tools that you need to make your masa are a stand mixer or a hand mixer or your hand. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to begin by beating our lard, mixing for about five minutes or until it's a lotion consistency. That's the consistency my hand is most familiar with. <laughs> five teaspoons of baking powder. Along with a little bit of salt. Baking powder and salt. And now we're going to be adding our six cups of masa. I'm gonna do half of a recipe, so three cups of masa. In your broth, just make sure that it is warm. Did I just see KitchenAid spilling the liquid? Machine zero, humanity one. Nice job team. We're going to grab a cup with water. And now we're going to test the masa. And if it floats, that means that it is ready. Once all the liquids are mixed in, let's test it. Um, okay. And if it doesn't float, just add a little bit more water and continue mixing. Adding a little bit of water and continue to mix. I think we can go back to the original video now. A little bit of the broth and you mix. Okay. All mixed up and ready. What's the next step? Get the masa and just put it right on the middle. No instructions on how to prepare the corn husks, but don't worry, I found another Mexican lady that's going to teach us how to prepare them. We're almost there. Get yourself some corn husks. You'll need 30 of them or so. That's not very specific, Josh. Let's say 40 corn husks. Place those in a large bowl and cover them with boiling water and let those sit and rehydrate for about 20 minutes or until easily pliable. Put them in a bowl and pour a boiling water. We're going to need a bigger bowl. Corn husks kind of smell like vinegar. Get the masa and just put it right on the middle. Now that we have everything ready, I'm going to put some masa in the middle and then spread it down. Add the pork. Adding the pork. Cause you're just gonna come, put it together, close, and it's beautiful. So I'm just gonna come, put it together, close, and it's beautiful. Now let's organize them in the pot. After you add some water, you're gonna get a wet towel and you're gonna cover right on top. I'm actually pretty proud of them. They look good. Uh, I don't have a big steamer, so I'm just gonna put it in this uh, steamer pot attachment thing. Now let's cook for an hour and 20 minutes. Put it on the stove and steam for an hour and 20 minutes. Y listo! Y listo! Lettuce and salsa. Add and enjoy. Alright, time to find out if they're still intact. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, am I supposed to save these corn husks? So we're gonna put some lettuce and salsa. And now it's time to enjoy it. The cross section is looking pretty good. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for. The soft masa combined with the savory pork makes it really irresistible. The sauce that lightens up the dish, at the same time, it adds depth. I guess this is what the tamale hype is all about. It took me about two days to make it, but it's totally worth it. Alright, thank you.